Hi guys, in this video we are building a custom desktop, which is slightly different to what we usually do, build applications. And this time it's going to be called desktop app, let's call it that. And it should create a custom desktop so we can launch our JavaFX application. So it's going to be quite interesting to see how this will play out. Um, I know, let's go with pain because we want to be able to place our things manually. Because um, I'm also thinking like uh, MDI windows so you can move around, not native windows. Uh, roots, let's go full screen. Because we want to um, create a desktop essentially. Now within it, um, I need I, um, box icons. Should probably use something like grid thing because icons are placed in a grid like layout but I'll do vertical blocks because that's just easier um, and we won't have many icons anyway. So I need something like an icon. Um, let's call it desktop icon. Uh, I don't know what I'll need for that, but let's go with desktop icon. Um, I need I need name. Um, application, I guess. So it's a class that extends application. And this is where we're going to pass in our um, JavaFX application. App class. What else? Um, I don't think there, we need anything else really. So how about, was it control? Oh, I forgot the old insert. There we go, constructor. Uh, right, yeah, that's good enough. <coughs> so let's have our icons. Um, desktop icon. Um, Yeah, desktop icon name is. Oh, I got lots of apps to choose from. So basically, all of these tutorials that we've done before should be runnable now because they're all JavaFX applications, right? Um, paint app class. And if something doesn't work, we'll just use something different. Uh, what else can we do? Calculator, let's go with that. Calculator. It's just called App Plus for some reason. Should probably rename this. And let's just add one more and that should be enough for our test. Um, image, we, we did something with images, right? Image editing app, there we go. Um, image editor. Now this is going to go inside our vertical box thing. So this needs to be a node of some sort. Let's go with stack pane. Yeah, keep things simple. And then it's going to have a background, um, rectangle, or that one. An icon is usually square-like, right? So let's go with 50, 50, no fill, um, and stroke, um, let's go with black. <clears throat> Background, and we need some text, we need some text. Which 
his name. Yeah, let's do that. That should give us a start. So icons for each icon add it to this thing. Vertical box, um, spacing, let's do 25. And finally, we need to remember to add it to the scene rough. Probably need to add some margins, um, move it from the boundaries of the window. Right, so that's what we have. Not great, but it will do. We don't worry too much about the user interface. We want functionality. Um, just need to increase stroke a little bit. Stroke size. So add stroke width. Two by five. Um, hundred by hundred. I just realized that they don't actually have the full text inside the icon. It's below the icon, but it, um, it's fine for now. So what do these things do? Um, the icon needs to start the application. How do we do that? Icon set on mouse. Mouse clicked. Okay. So when we click it, uh, we need to instantiate the app, which is some sort of a JavaFX application. Icon app class new instance. Is that still still working? Oh, okay. Um, let's just go with exception E and then God error. Yeah, that will do. I'll probably refactor this into a method. So we've got this. Um, what do we do with it? We can start it, which is where the interesting thing comes in, because we're almost like tricking the application to think that we are the JavaFX platform, but we're not. Start then immediately close it because, as you know, all JavaFX applications have something like this stage show and we don't want to show a native window. We want to grab the internal data, which is the root of the scene graph, uh, which is a parent. So app root stage get scene get root. And they want to replace it with something because you can't have two, uh, you can't have the same root in two scene graphs. Set scene, um, no, get scene, because scene is fine. We just need to replace this bit. And now this can be part of our application, right? Um, I need a window of some sort. Static class, um, desktop window extends, I know. Region um, parent go with parent for now. Nesta window it takes a, a parent which is root, and then we need to do something with it. Children add root, I guess. Um, we need some kind of a border, so let's go with rectangle. So the, the, the top border that windows usually have. That's going to be tricky because I don't know the length of it. Can I set background? What if this was a region? Set background, yeah. New background. New background fill color. Um, let's go with blue for now. 
and then I don't need the rest. And then if I translate the root further down by say 15 pixels, we should be able to see this, right? Um, that's not window. No, 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 that's top window. Pass this root. And then we need to attach this to our actual root. Yeah, let's go with that. This is interesting. It's almost like hijacking a JavaFX application. So if I click paint, ooh, nice. I've got something. Uh, I've got the border, which is great. Can I? I can actually draw it. That's beautiful. I can draw in this thing. I can. E I even get the menu from it. Brilliant. Right. I need this thing to be movable. However, I don't want it to be just there. Um, window. Window. So position it. Set on mouse um, pressed. So we need some capturing of where we clicked the thing. Uh, offset Y. Get X because that's the relative one. Yeah, yeah. And then using this relative value on dragged. Uh, I don't know which one though. Drag entered. Oh no, it's dragged. I think it's that one. I would say translate x by get scene x. And then we apply the offset. Just do the same for y. Yep, yep. Let's go with that. Let's start calculator. And then I should be able to, yeah, that's great. It's perfect. Um, one plus two equals three. Cool. Right, I don't want to be able to grab it by the whole thing. Can I just grab it where the border is? Uh, I should be able to, oh, right, okay. Because that's applied to the whole thing. I don't actually have a node in there. And that's the root. Yeah, that, that's fine. I'll, do, I'll just make sure that e get button is um, not primary. Else button. And just return. So if I do right click, um, that shouldn't move. Let's damage it over. Even the URL and everything works. So with right click, I can't move it. With left click, I can, which is great. You probably want to also set some kind of a, a border around the MDI window, the desktop window, so you can. And all of the functionality of these applications. Um, seem to work so I can start multiple applications now it's great paint nice yeah you did you do need some kind of bordering thing and you, you might want to even uh, add some transparency maybe I don't know um, there's a lot of scope for this thing and you can actually sort of the ultimate extension would be make these call an actual application, like something that lives on your desktop, um, you know, for which you will need to use Java process API, I think. Um, I might do a video on that and we'll see how that goes. This last thing is to make the entire thing full screen, which is done by doing this. So I don't accidentally move the window. There we go. And you can actually get rid of that message as well. Uh, press escape to exit full screen mode if you do a combination. And all of that seems to just work. On that note, thanks for watching.